Hello, so I just got done doing this beautiful 90s layered blowout on her and I'm going to go ahead and curl it. Check back because I will be posting how I blow dried her hair like this. Um, her hair does have layers. She actually has a curly cut in her hair. Um, we have a curl specialist that works in the salon. Um, if you're in Southern California and you have curly hair and you want to get a specialized curl haircut, definitely let me know and I can put you in contact with her. Um, but anyway, this is how it blew out. So it is is a cut that's customized to her curls um, but curly haircuts do blow out great as long as you keep some movement in there you just don't want to blow dry them out like super super smooth so this is a modified 90s look that I'm going for the first two curls I'm holding at a slight like almost vertically but slightly diagonal and going towards her face and then the last two I'm at a diagonal away from her face so I'm gonna do three to four sections on either side of her head and then I'll go to the other side side and I'm going to do two curls forward towards her face and then I will do the last one away from her face and that just gives it a little bit more of a 90s look to the finished curls I'm not unwinding or anything like that I'm just simply letting it down you could pin these if you wanted it wanted to I wanted it to just kind of be loose and soft and so I did not pin them I just let them be and cool that way but if you want it to be tighter definitely pin them with um, duck bills or pin curl um, clips or something like that and then I'm gonna do two away from her face and you can see that I'm holding the curling iron at a slight diagonal almost like almost a 45 degree angle between vertical and horizontal. And that's just gonna give a different look than when you hold it completely at a vertical. So now I'm gonna take one more section. I broke this into three sections. The first section is from her temple to temple. Then this section is gonna be from her point of recession to point of recession in like a U shape. And so again, I'm doing towards her face here, just one, and then I'll do the other two away from her face. And I try to just keep my curling iron techniques really simple. I don't want to be taking a bunch of sections. I know that, first of all, people at home aren't going to want to take that much time. Now, if I was doing an updo or something like that, maybe I would take a little bit more time to it. I would pin it and take more sections. But when I'm just doing something at the end of a service to give them a really nice finished look, I want it to be as quick as possible and also something that's teachable so that I could show them how to go home and do it on themselves. So, um, I do three sections on either side and then three so three sections temple to temple point of recession to point of recession and then the top and then I break those into three subsections or four at the most if the person has really thick hair so that was the first subsection now I'm going to break this in half and do the second subsection at a slight diagonal And then I'll do one more. And so that basically ends up being about nine subsections on either side of the head. I don't know if that's helpful um, or if that makes sense the way I'm explaining it. But again, just I like to pattern things so that it's easy to teach and easy to remember and something that people can recreate at home. Okay, so here's the top section. I'm gonna break that into three subsections as well. And I'm gonna do this entire section away from her face. So I'm kind of curling it back away. And then I'll do the next one away from her face. And then the bangs, I'll pull forward and curl them back away from her face. So you can see I pull it forward out in front of her. And then let it down okay and then three on this side and I start from the back and work my way to the front so that the back is cooled down first so that I can start raking my fingers through it and be able to finish up and then the last part that I'll rake my fingers through is those front two pieces so again back away from her face and then the last section I'm gonna pull forward and then roll back. Okay. 
And now I'm going to spray. And then I'll start by raking my fingers through the back and work my way up towards the front. That way the front has a little more time to cool. The back is already cooled. And if it was still warm to the touch, I would not shake it out yet. I would wait until the hair is cooled down. And I just love the way this came out. It's still very 90s, uh, but with a little bit of a modern twist to it, um, I'm able to customize the front. So she has that kind of swooping fringe. And I just had a lot of fun with this. I hope you love it. I hope you try it on yourself. I hope you try it on your clients. Um, it's a very fun technique to try and very easy to recreate. So you'll have to let me know if you give it a try. And if you have any questions, make sure you put it in the comments below. And also, if you love my content, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my upcoming videos and I also will be putting a video of how I blow dried her hair the way it looked in the beginning so here is the finished result I just think she's beautiful she has beautiful hair and that was so much fun to recreate or to create and uh, here is just kind of a slow-mo of what those layers look like in the back it's so pretty so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day